There are 43 quintillion ways to scramble a Rubik's Cube. But here's the wild part. Every single one can be solved in 20 moves or less. Let's break down the math. First up, why 43 quintillion? A Rubik's Cube has eight corners. Those can be arranged in 40,320 ways. Then there are 12 edges, and those shuffle around in 479 million combinations. Add two twist rules. Corners and edges can't just flip alone. Put it all together and you get 43 quadrillion, 252 trillion, 3 billion, 274 million, 489,856 scrambles. Boom! But here's where it gets nuts. In 2010, mathematicians proved you can solve any of these scrambles in 20 moves or less. That's called God's number. The perfect solution. How? Supercomputers tested every single position. And get this, if you scrambled a cube every second since the Big Bang, you'd only see 0.0000000001% of possible combos. The cube's universe is bigger than the universe. So how do math nerds actually analyze the cube? Enter group theory. Every twist is a generator, and cube-solving algorithms are basically math equations that undo chaos. Like this, the sexy move, R-U-R-U. That cycles three edges. Repeat it six times. The cube resets like magic, but it's pure math. Now let's talk speed cubers, the real world wizards. They use the CFOP method, solving layers with 57 memorized algorithms. They look ahead like chess players, predicting moves before they even turn. And with finger tricks, they hit 10 moves per second. That's how world records get smashed in just three seconds flat. All right, your turn. Comment your fastest solve time or just admit you feel the stickers. And hit subscribe, because next up, I'll be diving deep into when the singularity will happen. Math isn't magic, it's everywhere.